The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today what we're going to be watching is me play some Draft Champions. Not really anything spectacular, kind of a fun game. Both of us make some bad reads, there's some crazy plays that happen. But, what I really want to talk about is not even the gameplay today. What I'm actually interested in talking about is one of the biggest pieces of injustice that I have seen in pro football in quite some time. And that is the fact that Terrell Owens is not going to be in the NFL Hall of Fame, at least this year. He was up for nomination. Uh, he was definitely somebody that, who could be voted on. And the pro football writers, the people who actually vote for the Hall of Fame, they did not decide to put Terrell Owens into the Hall of Fame. Now, there are a lot of guys in the Hall of Fame, okay? Like, I mean, we're talking about a ton of receivers that are currently in the Hall of Fame that, yeah, they deserve it. Do not get me wrong. But I don't know how many of the guys in the Hall of Fame right now I would put ahead of Terrell Owens as far as all-time best receivers. I'm talking about this guy being one of the five best wide receivers in the history of the NFL, in my personal opinion. And statistically, I don't think you can even deny it. I mean, if you take a look at the numbers, career receiving touchdowns, he's third behind just Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. The only active player who's even within 50 touchdowns of him are Antonio Gates and Larry Fitzgerald, who are both almost guaranteed to be Hall of Famers themselves. After that, the only active players who's even within 70 of him are Brandon Marshall, Anquan Bolden, and now Steve Smith, who is also going to be retired. It's crazy to me that a guy with 153 career touchdowns is not going to be a first or a second ballot Hall of Famer. Now you look at the career receptions. He's eighth all time in career receptions. Terrell Owens, eighth all time in receiving receptions. You take a look at the guys that are ahead of him. The only guys that are ahead of him on the list, Jerry Rice, Tony Gonzalez, Larry Fitzgerald, Marvin Harrison, Chris Carter, Tim Brown, and Jason Witten. That's it. That's the end of the list. That is it. Those are the only guys all time that are ahead of him in receptions. You look at receiving yards. He's second all time. Second all time. The only one who's ahead of him is Jerry Rice in yards, guys. And why? Why is Terrell Owens left out of the Hall of Fame? It's not because of his skills. It's because the writers decide that, for whatever reason, they don't like him. And to me, that's absolutely unacceptable. A personal vendetta against a player should not keep them out of the Hall of Fame. When we're talking about a guy like Terrell Owens, yeah, there were times where he was a bad influence on teams. I mean, he was a guy who, you know, quite frankly, you could say he was almost a cancer on certain teams that he was on. But nobody busted their ass like Terrell Owens. And to me, that is what determines who a Hall of Famer is. A guy that busted his ass every single play who went out there and produced for his team. This is a guy who was a monster on every team that he played for throughout his career. You take a look at his years in San Francisco when he was catching for over 1,000 yards in four straight seasons. He goes to Philadelphia, 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns in his first year in Philly. Second year in Philly, he gets hurt, and he's held to just, and I say just, quote-unquote, 763 yards and six touchdowns in just seven games, over 100 yards per game that year. He goes to Dallas, he catches 13 touchdowns, 15 touchdowns, and 10 touchdowns in his three years for the Cowboys, with over 1,000 yards each of those three years. He goes to Buffalo in the twilight of his career, a terrible team, and he still has 829 yards and five touchdowns. And then in his final season in the NFL, 72 catches, 983 yards, and nine touchdowns in 2010, playing for the Bengals. This is a guy who did it throughout his entire career. There was not a lull. There was not some big dip in the middle of his career. Yeah, he had his problems off the field.
but this in my opinion is a complete injustice this guy should absolutely be in the hall of fame there's absolutely no question about it it's disgusting that he's not and the fact that he isn't to me tells me that this whole process of voting for hall of fame in the nfl needs to be completely reconsidered and you guys you can say what you want about owens off the field but there's absolutely, again, nothing that can be said about how he performed on the field. And that is what makes a Hall of Famer. Not Super Bowls, not, you know, what he did off the field as far as, you know, creating a circus sideshow. This guy busted his ass and he produced huge numbers and he was a great, all-time great receiver. And that's coming from somebody who at a point in my life, I he was my most hated player in the NFL when he was playing for the 49ers, and then he went to Philly. And as a Cowboys fan, you can imagine, I did not like that. And when he came to Dallas, to be quite honest with you, I wasn't a big fan of that either. But then he produced, and he did everything that a good teammate would do. And so that is going to end up wrapping up this video, guys. Uh, I want to hear from you, though. You guys got to let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about this? Is Terrell Owens a Hall of Famer? Should he be in the Hall of Fame already? Think about the guys that are in there that are ahead of him that are, you know, in the Hall of Fame already, and he's not. It's insane. Again, guys, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.